My name is Natalia Neparice. I'm from Yale Cancer Center. I specialize in multiple myeloma and hematology. And I'm excited to report that at this ASH, we are presenting data from our real world study, comparing outcomes uh, among patients with relapsed refractory myeloma who have received either CAR T cell therapies or bispecific T cell engager therapies. In clinical trials, which are run either by academic institutions or collaborative groups or industry studies, typically patients need to meet very strict eligibility criteria for the study. And this, by nature of its design, excludes many of our real-life patients who need care on a daily basis. And so um, I think clinical trial literature informs us greatly. However, it may not exactly reflect our um, real-world patients who we're treating in the clinic on a daily basis. So uh, that's why um, examining in the form of either retrospective or prospective fashion, um, this sort of real world practice evidence from our own daily practice in the clinic um, is very meaningful and important for our patients because that's more perhaps comparable to general population um, in the U.S. oncology. The reason why we did this study is because uh, the community in myeloma does not really have solid evidence as to how best to sequence these drugs. So do you go first with bispecifics or do you go first with CAR T cells? This is, a, this is an unanswered question. These products were uh, FDA approved about the same time. Uh, so we are just sequencing them based on patient preferences, but no real guidelines um, to um, refer to. Our study that I currently noted um, is retrospective, meaning looking back uh, over the past couple of years um, and examining data and evidence and outcomes of patients treated for the past two years in this case, uh, whereas prospective would be if we were to establish patients now and follow them over time, over the next two to, two to three years. So in this study, this was a res retrospective study, um, total of 92 patients uh, were analyzed, treated at Yale Cancer Center. Um, these were patients who were heavily pretreated relapsed refractory myeloma and uh, had undergone at least six to eight lines of prior therapy. Median line of therapy for pa these patients had was about six um, and in this study, 92 patients uh, were analyzed. 46 of them had received by specific uh, agents, such as uh, mostly teclistimab or talquetamab, uh, or um, one of the CAR-T products, siltacel or um, abecma. Um, and the findings of the study revealed that uh, patients who uh, were selected to receive CAR-T cells were obviously younger patients, median age of 62, as opposed to 68 for patients with bispecifics. Um, in terms of overall responses, CAR-T was associated with um, higher response rates on the order of 85-89%, um, with bispecifics around 65%, which is consistent with the previously trial uh, reported literature. Um, the, uh, the high response rate with the CAR-T was accompanied by a higher toxicity um, as well, m mainly in the form of cytokine release syndrome, neurotoxicity with CAR-Ts, as well as more prolonged hematologic toxicity in the form of prolonged cytopenia. Um, and in terms of progression-free survival, um, CAR T cell patients enjoyed slightly longer progression-free survival on the order of nine, nine months, as compared with around seven months with bispecifics. Um, and overall, um, um, we noted that patients f fared uh, comparatively well in terms of infectious tendencies. So infectious rates were um, similar in both groups. One question we did uh, uh, try to um, explore in this cohort was the um, access of patients in the minority groups, actually. And um, uh, I think African-American patients were reasonably well re represented in this cohort. And um, we did not really see significant differences in terms of access to care at TL Cancer Center to either one of these therapies. So this was reassuring. So in summary, uh, we see in this study real-world practice patterns among patients with relapsed refractory myeloma. Um, CAR-Ts um, were used um, in younger patients. So these were younger, perhaps healthier patients, enjoying higher overall response rates at the expense of higher toxicity rates in terms of CRS, neurotoxicity, and hematologic toxicity, um, with a higher progression-free survival observed with a CAR-T as compared to with bispecific um, population.
Thank you very much for your interest in our study and please refer to uh, our abstract um, on proceedings of the meeting at ASH.